guys, Kitty Caliper here, and today I'm going to show you exactly where to find and how to tame unicorns on the island. Yay! If you guys didn't know, there's actual places that you can find unicorns on the island and other maps as well. Today I'm going to be showing you on the map here. As you can see, you can find them in very rare instances in these areas that are marked in red. Now, nine times out of ten, you're going to find it on Carno Island and you're not going to get your unicorn as well. It's Carno Island. And a lot of these other places are kind of stranger danger areas as well. But saying that, I was out on my normal morning stroll looking for unicorns. And I just so happened to find one that seems to be in a great spot to tame. So I thought I'd take you guys and show you. But first off, I want to say a great big thank you to all my current subscribers. You guys are amazing and I seriously couldn't do it without you. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button for pro-ish art content. And if you do like what I provide for you today, feel free to hit that like button. Guys, I'm aiming for the big 20,000. So help me go big or go home and you all get a cookie. Yay! So normally I would take you guys over to different locations and find them. But because they're so rare, you can only find one unicorn on the map at a time. Wild. I don't want him to get eaten. <laughs> I thought I would just take you guys here and there. Get. So, nine times out of ten, they can get finicky, especially if they see you. They're just like taming an equus, so you should wear ghillie. Best chance of sneaking up on them. Another thing you should do is crouch. What you would want to bring on your hand with you while you're taking your simple kibble or rock carrot. If you bring berries, you're gonna have a bad time. So first. You need to find your unicorn. This one is really fast. Then you need to try to sneak up on him without him seeing. So crouching is a good idea. The so level 70, so you take a little bit. Then you need to get up and ride him. And he might kick you off. And then you're gonna have to chase him down. And now you pay attention to the right side. You have no control of what you're doing right now. It's all about the unicorn. So he can run you into stranger dangers real quick. That's why it's super important to try to find them in non-stranger danger area. I got so lucky here. And when you see at the bottom right corner, it's saying use eating. I don't know exactly what it says, but there's a, a thing before he kicks. And that's when you got to feed him the raw carrots in your last slot or kibble and there we go so a quick rundown you sneak up on the unicorn you don't have to use gilly it's just your chances are a little bit better of not scaring it then you would put have raw carrots or simple ki kibble on your last slot on your hot bar press e to tame and then e again to jump up on him then you would have to follow the prompt just before he kicks you off to feed him and let him run around because he has control. Do it all right, then you can have yourself a beautiful, magical unicorn. And you may ask, why would you want one? Because why not? And if you guys didn't know, you do have to be a level 10 to tame one. And you can unlock a saddle for it too at a level 20. It is the Equus saddle. And they do all the same things that Equus can do. They can harvest bushes, and they can even help out knock out teams. But they're just more elegant about it. Well guys, I thought I'd do a quick little tutorial because I saw one and well, it's fun to do some fun things like this. So guys, if you did like what I provided for you today, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? I hope you guys have a super a duper magical day. And you in the next one. Bye for now.